we can no longer continue. So there's just time for us to say goodbye from everybody here at Stanta Sports News and thank you very much for watching. So finally, after a long battle to stay afloat, Satanta has sunk. The Irish sports broadcaster now consigned to a sort of Davy Jones locker of those who took on Sky and lost, along with British satellite broadcasting and ITV Digital. The first and hardest hit will be Satanta's staff. 99% of the staff are concerned it's game over. Time to go and do something else. If I knew what was going to happen when I left my old job to come here two years ago, I would still make the same decision tomorrow. I've loved every minute of working for this company. It doesn't look like ESPN are you know, going to do anything. You know, it's all going to be going from Sky, so you know, the immediate prospects are not, are not great. ITN produced Satanta Sports News, and around 60 staff now face an uncertain future. The company will consult with them and seek to redeploy some workers. All this comes after weeks of efforts to find an 11th hour rescue deal, but in the end, the administrators had to be called in. The majority of the staff who work in the UK business have been released. We've retained 18 staff to help us wind down the business, but upwards towards sort of 150, even 200 will have been released uh, from the companies today. So this was a, a genuine effort, con incredible amounts of work, hard work put in in the last few weeks to try and rescue the business, sacrifices made by everybody, every effort made to get creditors into a better position, which has unfortunately failed. Satanta's challenge when they started up two years ago was a big one, and for a while it seemed they might achieve it. But Satanta needed 1.9 million subscribers to break even, and only ever managed 1.2. They started off with minority sports, but went on to win two packages of English Premier League games. But they then failed to keep them all, losing some to Sky, and undermining investor confidence in the company. Well, before they bought the Premier League rights, they had a very good business model, a, sort of a much smaller scale based around the Scottish Premier League, which they, you know, they worked out very successfully. But you know, in 2006, when they got the Premier League rights, that was a big step up, uh, a massive jump in ambition, and, and arguably it was just too big a jump. They then missed payments to the Scottish and English Premier Leagues, and their rights were gone. ESPN have now bought the matches, and nobody came forward with any loans or a buyout for the company. The Scottish Premier League have already begun a fresh rights auction for matches Satanta would have broadcast, and up for resale will be some FA Cup matches, the US PGA Golf Tournament and the Guinness Premiership Rugby. All the UK channels are now off-air. The company has stopped collecting subscriptions, and customers are being told to go to the company's website for more information.